MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, we wrap up this three-game series between the Houston Astros and the Boston Red Sox. Here's Michael Brantley. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The 1-1. One -one. Hit sharply on the ground. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there's your first out of the ball game. And that'll bring up the former first-rounder, Alex Bregman. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Line drive base hit. Batting third. The second base hitter. Standing in now, Jose Altuve. And now a double play ball, perhaps, for Pedroia. Oh, but the feed is offline. Couldn't hit the shortstop covering the bag. Striding forward now is the DH. Jordan Alvarez comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. 1 1. There's a sinker that misses for a ball. Bregman, the runner at third. Altuve is over at second with one down in the inning. All even now, two and two. From the stretch. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Benintendi coming up. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So two on with two away. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. Ready with the 1-1. One -one. Good pitch on the black. That was the sinker for a strike. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And be a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Here comes the one and two. Weak rounder back to the mound. On to first, and the Astros can't cash in as that ends the inning. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he got him. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the former MVP second baseman Dustin Pedroia. Oh, had him off stride that time and it's one and two. Woo, that was an ugly swing. If I'm pitching right now, I'm throwing that same pitch again. That was ugly. Ball two. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. The 3-2 now to Pedroia. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Line. That's a base hit in the left field. Batting third, the designated hitter, JD. At the plate, JD Martinez. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. The 2 2. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And the payoff pitch hit the other way out toward right field. Reddick is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. 
So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Xander Bogarts. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. George Springer the next to hit first at bat for him in this one he was one for four with a double in the ball game last night line drive and that's a base hit into center field into the box now Carlos Correa tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes now the three and two pitch skied in the air to straightaway left Ben has got it and there's one away striding in Josh Reddick First swings for him in this one with a runner gone. still at first and one yeah. gone. Reddick behind a ball and two strikes. Hard sinker misses two and two. Sinker, three and two now. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The three, two, one more time. And he popped him up. Benintendi coming up, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. The catcher, Garrett Stubbs. To play yes, now, yes. Garrett Stubbs. Hit on the ground to third. Devers gloves it. Throw gets him. Two down. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Brantley. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. Back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Ah, but the throw is well up the line, and a second run's going to score. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. So now to the plate, Rafael Devers. And a good idea to hold off there as it goes to two and two now on the Boston third baseman. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. High fly ball out to straightaway center. On the move is Springer. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. And this will be fouled away. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. That's in there. And it'll run the count to full. Three and two. Fouled away. Verlander sets his sights on his way with the three and two lifted down the line and left. He's through first and hustling for second. And now this will get over the wall down the line out there for a ground rule double. At the plate now, Christian Vasquez. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. Two. 
takes this the other way to right. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Verdugo is on his way home. And he's safe at the plate. As they cut their deficit in half, it's a 2-1 to one game now. Standing in now, Jackie Bradley Jr. Slider is in there, and now it's 1-2. and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll bring up Alex Bregman. One for one after a single this first time up. A 1-1. This year against right-handed pitching, Bregman is hitting over 350 up in the high 300s. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. Now that so one away here with the bases empty and striding in their speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. Two one here it is now Altuve connects deep left field not quite out of here it's off the out of town scoreboard at the plate Jordan Alvarez the count now at two and two. On the stretch. Three ball, two strikes. Right side. Moreland is there. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Coming to the plate now, Yuli Guriel. The first baseman. Yuli F.D. Guriel. The set and the 1 1. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch. I'm on everything else. Misses, ball two. Slapped hard the opposite way. Verdugo is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next, the exciting left-handed bat of Andrew Benintendi. The 1-1 home. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. One gone here in the Boston third. And that'll bring up the former MVP second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. On the ground to the right side. And that is going to sneak on through into right. It's a one-out single. The bat, the designated hitter, J.D. In now, J.D. Martinez. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Catch made there by Altuve, and there are two gone now. Striding in for Boston, Xander Bogarts. Verlander pauses, 1-1 on its way. And this one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to 2-1. Way to 100 pitches. Here it is. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Now back, the third baseman, Rafael. Into the box now, Rafael Devers. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes, he did. It's ruled a strike.
Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Fouled off. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. All set for the start of the fourth. Here's George Springer. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Set and the two and one pitch. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Liner toward right center. Playable for Verdugo, and there's one gone. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. 3-2 pitch. There's ball four. So here's Josh Reddick. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Josh Reddick. The 1-1. One, one. Now this is on the ground to first. We'll see if they can get two. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Next up for the Strohs, Garrett Stubbs. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. up for the Red Sox. Mitch Moreland 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now the 2-1. And it's fouled away. Payoff pitch one more time. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Under it now is Brantley, and he has it for the first out. Riding in once again, Alex Verdugo. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. And that pitch comes over to catch the corner. It's two and two now. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. The bat. So bases are empty here with two gone. And from the on-deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. And now a good slider that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's two and one now. Just got a piece of that one. Perhaps shortening up now will get the ball in play. Hit well on the ground to first. Balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Michael Brantley. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at bat. Yeah, I'm not sure what they saw right there. Maybe the first base coach was giving him the green light to go ahead and go to second base, but obviously it didn't work out in that situation. It did take a good throw to get him, though. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. The third baseman of the team, Alex Bradford. So now to the plate, Alex Bregman. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. continues. 
chop toward the second baseman. Up with the ball is Pedroia, and that's the first down. Ryan Weber will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Jose Altuve will be his first assignment, and he's got a tough spot here with the runner at third and only one gone. Slow roller down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Hit to third. Devers fields it cleanly. Throw gets him, two down. Next will be the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. And that's a base hit in the center field. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. The first base is number 10. Yuliette Guriel. To the plate now, Yuli Guriel. Hops this one up. Moreland has a play. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Still two and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he fouls this one off. A bouncer to the left side. But that finds its way through for a base hit. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. The batter, Noah Fielder, Andrew. Benintendi. Into the box, Andrew Benintendi. No offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full now, three and two. Waiting next is Dustin Pedroia. Hit hard to the right side. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Only play will be to the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. Well, that's now seven strikeouts for him. Dustin Pedroia becomes the second out in the bottom of the fifth. The 1-1. One -one. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Hard hit to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. At the plate, George Springer, a hit in two tries so far. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there. But he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. 
So the leadoff man's aboard in their half of the sixth inning. At the plate, Carlos Correa. Line hard toward right center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And this will kick up against the wall near the Red Sox bullpen. And a relay to the plate. And he will beat the throw home. It's a four to one score now. Now that the right fielder. John. At the plate now, Josh Reddick. The short hit hard. Bogarts has it. And there's one down now. Ready once again, Garrett Stubbs. No hits in two okay. trips to the plate for Garrett. him in the ballgame. The 2 1. Sent on the ground out to second. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. So the Houston lineup turns over, and to the plate, Michael Brantley. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Outside two and one. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. And the runner from third crosses the plate. The third baseman, number two. Alex. Standing in now, Alex Bregman. This one is launched. Look at this. And it's gone into the monster seats. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Darwin's and Hernandez gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least beat a couple of innings for his guys. Into the box now, Jose Altuve. Now an off-speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And the count will be full. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 pitch home. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. Digging in, Xander Bogarts. He'll be the one to greet Justin Verlander to start the inning. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. Now batting. Now in the box, Rafael Devers. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. 1-2 is an off-speed pitch. No dice. It's 2-2. Two and two. And that's into the corner. A foul ball in right. 2 2 one more time. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Now batting. Stepping up now, base. Mitch Moreland. He flew out in his last at Moreland. bat. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ballgame, and the inning is over. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Grounded softly to the right. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The first base Digging in, Yuli Gurriel. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. 
Now the three and two pitch is swung on and missed. He got him. Stepping up to the plate, George Springer. He's two for three thus far. Seven runs, 11 hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Carlos Correa would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Just hung in there on that one. The next three two. Line to the right side. That's in for a base hit. He's now three for four. The two out hit means Carlos Correa will bat this inning. Now batting. The shortstop. Carlos. Stepping in now. Carlos Correa. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Pitch popped up. Bogarts waits on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Please join for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Rogelio Armenteros gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Rogelio. Now at the plate, Alex Verdugo. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Brantley going back. Not quite out of here as it's off the monster. Now that is the catcher. Christian. So now to the plate, Christian Vasquez. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Hit down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. One run, seven hits, and one error on the Boston line score. Fouled away. Line drive. That's a base hit into the right center field gap. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. Now that center fielder, Jackie. At the plate, Jackie Bradley Jr. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Three balls and a strike now to Bradley. Andrew Benintendi is on deck. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Hit hard towards center. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. The battle. No Andrew. At the plate now, Andrew Benintendi. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. The One away. 15, second baseman. Line to the right side. Well, this is speared by the first baseman. Now the Red Sox now DH, J.D. Martinez. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. The 1-1 home is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Popped him up. Guriel moving to his left. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side.
Ryan Brazier will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Ready to begin the eighth, striding in for Houston, Josh Reddick. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now the one and one pitch. Weak grounder down the line at third. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Now Digging back. in, Garrett Catch. Stubbs. He Garrett. was a ground out victim last Stubbs. time up. A 1 1. Ball, that pitch is out. One out, nobody on. And this one misses as well, and that pushes it to three and one. One thing that can nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. Now the one and one pitch. Line toward the alley in left center. And this is going to be his fourth hit of the game as this should wind up as extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. The third baseman, number two, Alex Bregman. Standing in now, Alex Bregman fouled off. Here now the 2 2. Hard hit ball to second. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Ball three. Three and two now. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Bradley is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Bottom of the inning now. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Xander Bogarts. He went down on strikes last time up. The 3-1. Swung on and missed. A full count now. And it's fouled away. Once again, a 3-2. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. He'll try it again, three and two. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Now at the plate, Rafael Devers. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. Three and two, the count for Rafael Devers. Mitch Moreland will be next. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Ready for another shot now. Mitch Moreland. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. Two and two. Two out. Nobody on. Struck him out. Struck him out again. I should say his third punch out of the game. Leith Hembry enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Number 37, Heath. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now the Astros' designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The 1-2.
Got him. So here's Yuli Gurriel. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Bases are empty, one man out. And this pitch is swung on and missed. And the AL's leading hitter is set down on strikes, two away. Now at the plate, George Springer. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now the pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. That fastball really got away from him there. That's kind of a red flag for me that he's starting to tire. Got him looking. And that'll do it. The inning is over. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. Stepping in, Alex Verdugo. So far, two for three in this one. Now the one and one pitch. Misses for the second ball. Two balls, one now, barring any late turnaround, this win would belong to Justin Verlander. Grounder down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. And the pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, digging for two. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Framber Valdez is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Into the box, Christian Vasquez. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. No one out with a runner at second. And he fouls this one off. The one two. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. Well, what do you do when guys keep fouling pitches off like this? I guess you could back them off the plate by throwing one inside. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. So here now is Jackie Bradley. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Gone! He finds the short porch for a home run. To the plate now, Andrew Benintendi. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Bregman ranges back and he has it for route number two. Now to the plate, Dustin Pedroia. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. 1 1. He's looked at for ball number two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Last strike now for the Red Sox. A full count, three balls and two strikes. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Here's J.D. Martinez. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, this one's going to upset him for a little bit. You make the pitcher work the way he did right there, and that's the end result. That one sticks with you for a while. And he'll put this one away for the final out, and the Astros will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. 8-4 tonight.
The Houston Astros took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Justin Verlander earns win number seven on the season as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Fans are final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros, eight runs on 13 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Red Sox, four runs on 11 hits. One error. They left eight runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 27 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Fenway Park. 37,755. We'd like to thank the Red Sox Nation for their continuing support and remind you to please drive home safely. Good night.